Hey everyone. Well, I have a little time to kill before I'm headed over to uh, Moynihan Train Hall. But behind me is the brand new connecting bridge to the High Line Park. Let's go check it out. This is the shed. This whole thing moves on a few sets of these wheels. Amazing. board to sell business class could have uh, did the bid up program did not do it because just a short trip we're going to Philly best roast beef sandwich in the entire city and we're gonna go discover the smallest park in Philly unknown but a tribute to electricity
Well, here we are. Smallest park in Philadelphia. Cox Park. K-C-O-X-E. Cox. It was named after a judge. But the most important thing here, other than the kids' playground equipment, is this statue. Agnes Yarnell did this statue in 1965. I was 15. And it stood for many years in the hallowed Franklin Institute over yonder. But then found its home outdoors eventually, and uh, here we are. Smallest park in Philadelphia. How did how did he do it with the kite? Well, what happened was the kite went up with a silk string, but partially down it, there was a hemp rope with a key tied to it. Jefferson, Jefferson, Franklin, Jefferson was another guy with real nice handwriting, figured that if it was wet, it would conduct electricity, and it worked. So hence we know of the kite with a key in a thunderstorm. Ben Franklin, a man before his time. successful great great five-star sandwich wonderful little park smallest park I've ever been in and now we're waiting on a cello 2168 headed back to the Moynihan train hall NYC then New Jersey Transit Cash, 
space dust. Normally, on the East Coast, we have a stone IPA. West Coast has always told me, you know, these people say, Empire Builded Crowd, space dust. Well, guess what I got today? Coming from Philadelphia. My first space dust. Cheers. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, now arriving, now arriving, downtown North New Jersey Police Station, now arriving.